Holy crap. This has gotten way out of control. I am truly ashamed of how influencers on my side of the aisle, not only how much class they lack, but just how quick they are to jump to conclusions, and not even care when they're wrong. These people, they're not interested in looking for solutions. They're not interested in getting the story right. They're interested in finding a source of outrage and creating chaos and trying to hurt businesses and reputations at the comfort of their own keyboards. Whatever happened to being civil and reasonable? Whatever happened to waiting until all the facts come out? They're just so reactionary over the slightest hint of quote, wokeness, that it clouds their judgment. If they see one itty bitty thing that looks off, then it must be political. It's ridiculous. Don't get me wrong, because I myself, do not want politics in video games, movies, TV shows, pro wrestling. I want entertainment. I want storytelling to be the only focus when I look for something to watch or play. I have made comments before on box checking. I criticized Phil Spencer for pledging more LGBT characters for no other reason than politics. I once said that making a transgender character for representation is just like creating a handicapped character for representation. Now it's very likely I won't get Fable when it comes out. With that said, where do you get the idea that they're shoving transgenderism here? I don't jump to conclusions and call something woke if I see signs of it, and there's a possibility that it's a nothing burger like this instance. I call it when I actually see it. This character is a woman. She has a real face. Her name is Lily Nickel. And there could be a number of things that Playground Studios had in mind or happened behind the scenes during the making of this trailer, many of which aren't politically driven. The first thing that comes to mind is that she is not wearing makeup. If the developers are aiming for historical accuracy, then sure, peasant women during the medieval times did not wear makeup. It's also worth noting that this is likely not a final build, and there's likely a lot of work they still have to do in terms of visuals. I still remember when Injustice 2 was in development, many fans pointed out how rough Supergirl looked, and by the time the game was finished, her face improved and looks more refined now. Fable is known for featuring Avatar main characters, so her face likely will never matter to players, but if by chance that this is an established character, or maybe it's a preset when creating the character, that the face will refine. Because that's how game development works, they fix bugs and work on the aesthetics until it's time to release the game. I feel bad for this lady. This is probably her biggest project to date, and she did nothing wrong to warrant this outrage and paint a target on herself. I hate to think what she could be going through her mind reading articles and comments like these. All she did was a job. I can't believe how far these people are willing to go, all because they think a character is a different gender. What would be awesome is if these people issued statements or made videos stating they messed up, or apologized, or made a correction. But of course, they're not about being correct, so don't hold your breath. 